What is intrinsic safety? Intrinsic safety technique focused on limiting energy to a level below the threshold required for ignition. In the case of the system without protection, faults in the safe area can cause overvoltage and overcurrent transmission to hazardous areas, which causes an explosion. Intrinsically safe barriers not only should protect against faults in safe zones, but also must be able to handle faults such as short circuits in hazardous areas. Using intrinsically safe barriers is a reliable and popular technique to prevent this. Intrinsic safety consists of three main components. 1. Intrinsically field devices. 2. Safety barriers. 3. Intrinsically safe wiring. In the following, it's demonstrated how barriers prevent transmission of any excess energy by keeping voltage and current lower than ignition level in the hazardous area. There are three components in the barriers to limit the electrical current. 1. Resistance. 2. Zener diode. 3. Fuse. The resistor used in the safety barriers limits the current to short circuit current. Zener diodes, which limit the voltage to the value of open circuit voltage, also operate fuses after the activity of Zener diodes. With more than 10 years of activity in industrial automation, SAG Company has been able to produce many products in the field of intrinsic safety barriers. SAG MDU is a multi-function barrier that can measure temperature, voltage, and current. MDU supports a variety of temperature sensors, including 2, 3, and 4-wire RTDs from PT10 to PT1000. It can also read thermocouple sensors with different types. In addition to temperature, this product can measure a wide span of voltage from minus 10 to 10 volts, and one of its channels can read current in the range of 0 to 20 mA and 4 to 20 mA. To meet our customers' requirements, we offer this product with one, two or three channels. Let's see how it works. First, consider a water bath heater used in the oil, gas, and petrochemical industries. Water bath heater is a method for heating oil and gas. They were used in refineries and petrochemicals and gas suppliers. Immersing a set of pipes in a hot liquid can indirectly raise the temperature of the gas or oil flowing inside the pipes to 350 increased degrees Fahrenheit. The liquid is heated by a burner located under this tank and then transfers its heat to them. This heating helps prevent the formation of ice crystals that cause damage to the equipment on this device when the pressure decreases. Several field devices must be read through the information and its parameters and sent to the safe area for monitoring. RTD and thermocouple are sensors used to measure the water bath heater's inlet and outlet fluid temperature. SAG products can read the signal of these two types of sensors. A pressure transmitter can measure the inlet fluid pressure of the water bath heater tank. A pressure transmitter generates a signal as a function of the pressure imposed and converts the electrical signal from the transducer into a voltage or current that can be sent over a long distance to the safe area. The water level meter and flame detector install on the water bath heater tank to measure the water level and determine whether the burner is on or off, respectively. Their output is current in the range of 4 to 20 mA, so MDU can be a great choice to measure different analog signals in this application. All measure signals are transmitted to the safe area for monitoring via Modbus protocol through the RS-485. Thus, there is no need for I.O. cards, and data can transmit to PLC or any other controllers directly for process and monitoring purposes. Contact us for more information through the following methods.